After being without turtles for four weeks, the Loggerhead Marine Life Center has a new patient. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman has reported on the center's past troubles, and Dave joins us now with an update. Dave. Michael, the turtle is named Milo. He's in pretty bad shape. He had to have a fin amputated and has a fractured skull. Milo comes to the Juno Beach Turtle Hospital after Florida Fish and Wildlife kept the center from receiving new turtles because of poor water quality at the facility. The center claims it identified and fixed its water problems. Well, today it brought in its first turtle to treat since January 19th. The stranded loggerhead had been treated at the Brevard Zoo in Melbourne. Contact 5 wanted to know why it took nearly a month for the center to finally get back into business of treating injured sea turtles. We thought it was best when we resumed operations to have a phased approach, to have a gradual approach. And we started with certain criteria that we we're working with, and this is the first turtle that showed up that fit those criteria. Despite Milo's severe injuries, the turtle experts at Loggerhead say it should be able to make a full recovery. Marine Life CEO Kyle Van Houten says the facility could be treating more turtles by the end of the month.